Peace party people. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Let the Record Show. I am Mike Pizzo. I'm Warren Peace. And today's special guest is Dudley Perkins. Welcome. Yes. How are you, man? I'm good. It's good to have you. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good. Man. Good. It's, it's great a, to have you. This is, this is so that? awesome. This is, this is long in the making. This is long in the making, but it just I just remember the days of hip hop site when you come up. Yeah, and we, me and Pizzo would be like deep in work, and you'd be like, knock, knock, knock. Hey, <laughs> I got some lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, mean, yeah. you were always like, it's just Hustling. really good to see you. Yeah, hustling even back to KUMB, like yeah. you oh, brought Mad Lib to KUMB. I learned how to open the door. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Could right, keep right. me out. This is, right. just, this is just really yeah. like it feels good. Man. Yeah, so it's it great. Really, it's really great good. to be here. So. You gave us a list of some of your favorite tracks of all time. Yes. We went and tracked down as much as we could on vinyl. Uh -huh. Now we're going to play those tracks and let the record show. Right on. All, all right, right, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, D, first up on your list, Parliament, the Motor Woo! Booty Affair. And uh, your cut on here is <laughs> you're a fish and I'm a water sign. Yes. And I see Georgia Ann Muldrow in the background <laughs> cheering already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so let's see, this is track uh, three. Let's check this out. Yeah, so, I mean, this this album has uh, Aqua Boogie, which is kind of like the bigger hit yeah. that's been sampled so many times, yeah. and like the, the cut that you hear with the Psycho Alpha Disco Beta. There's a few, there's a few, like, um, what's another one? The yeah, Aqua Boogie was basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was basically the only one that was big on there. Yeah. And Liquid Sunshine, I guess, was pretty big, but all of them were big to me. Yeah. Yeah, you so know? tell us about, um, I mean, we have the picture disc here. Tell us about uh, your experience with this record. Um, this is, a, I, you know, I, I was into um, Parliament Funkadelic before that. Right. That, that came along a little later. Mm -hmm. Not too later, but, um, you know, I started off with, like, Uncle Jam's Army, like most people did, you know. Right. Then you, when you got hooked, you hooked. Mm -hmm. But this one was, come on, I didn't even smoke weed back then, right. but this made you feel like he was high. Right. And then when you realize what he's talking about, you know, I'm, I'm still not really sure what he's completely talking about on album, yeah. but I'm pretty sure it has to do with like abortion and, and politics that has to do with birth and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, babies and stuff, having yeah. babies and, yeah. you know, the whole album is actually about that, right, you know? right. But they're using fish and stuff. Yeah. How did you, uh, how were you exposed to this? Were your parents playing it, or a kid in the street, or? Um, uh, back in the days, my, my, no, my cousin's uh, father used to collect Funkadelic records. Okay. Um, and he'd keep his record stack in the living room, in a dark living room. Okay. And the album covers used to scare me and my cousin. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We walk by right. and look at the covers and run. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then, then um, yeah. my, my stepfather started collecting Funkadelic and Parliament records, and I would always look at them, and I was wondering why this guy up there, what's he doing with his fingers and stuff, yeah, like, yeah. you know, what Sir Nose was doing, yeah. you yeah. know, because um, my father never really played them, sure. you know, and then, you know, I, I ended up moving um, across the street from a, um, a bunch of DJs that played a bunch of funk music, and then I got into it then, okay. you know, because I think I was into, what, what I, age is I'm thinking about seven, Okay. You know, this Oxnard. Yes, yeah, okay. Oxnard. Yeah, yeah. But I was into Cameo first. Yeah. But when I got into Uncle Jam's Army, um, that whole album, you know, I got a, a copy of that on Christmas. No, my cousin actually got a cassette of that on Christmas, along with Gap Band's yeah. album, Burn Rubber, the full album. Right, right. And we played them records back and forth through the whole Christmas party. Wow. And, and to me, that Uncle Jam's Army was one of the, and Knee Deep was one of the coldest songs I've ever heard in my life. Still is. Right. One of the coldest songs. You mean on this? Earth. Ooh. Oh yes, that. Sorry, that, Sorry. that, that you do actually, that every show. you know, <laughs> if, if, the, if if I had it my way, that's the the um the black man national anthem, the black people's yeah. national yeah. anthem. That's our Knee national deep. anthem. Yeah. 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 So when when Ice Cube and everybody started sampling all this stuff, were you picking out the samples like? Oh, instant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. You know, everything. You know. I think Knee Deep for me was the only. So my parents weren't heavily, like, didn't have a heavy record collection, they didn't buy a lot of records, but whenever I'd go to North Carolina visit my grandma and my uncles and stuff, and then, you know, they pull up a car, 
turn up, the music out of a car is blasting, either have the windows down and the doors open. Yeah. Somebody killed a battery almost every picnic. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and, and there were certain songs that they would react to. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, they're dancing more to this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Deep was one of them. That they Always. Told everyone to start. I didn't know when they were right. I just knew they're moving. They're having more fun now. Yeah. Real so talk. that's probably how you kind of figured out how, to, how a crowd responds as a DJ. Well, I, probably, that was probably like the, my beginning yeah. DJ stuff. He was like, hmm. Yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. Something to this. Yeah. Yeah, if I could yeah. make them boogie. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's funny because I was, even though you heard a lot of the part of man and, and you mentioned cameo and, and stuff like that, right. I was still like the new, like hip hop, man. Like, yeah. I could hear hip hop over there. So right, I was right. like, okay, that sounds old. Where's this new hip, like, I need to hear this new music again. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the planet rocks, the orbit the beat goes on you know stuff but this, like this was like more like 78 oh yeah you but i mean these, these songs were still kind of 70, popping up 70, like, i think yeah. i i think i heard i started listening to funk in 78 yeah okay yeah. all right yeah 1978 yeah, yeah. um and I, i've been on it you know it's something you can't when you when you really touches you it touches you right. it's a, it's a spirit you know yeah like and everybody that that deals with funk will tell you there's a spirit involved in it, you know. Sure. It is not. It's just not normal music. Right. You know. There's there's actually like an ancient spirit in it, you know. Because I always say with real funk, there's a message in it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and it comes out. The message comes without you knowing. It's just something sure. that happens, you know. Yeah. I mean, look at George. He's still alive. I know. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, I just saw him he's, at the he's high riding, time. He's party. riding on vibration. Yeah, right, right. Pure yeah. funk vibration is, is upholding him. Yeah. He, he, and plus, he's the god of funk, basically. Yeah. So, you know. Yes, it's, he's a foundation. I mean, well. The living yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. A living yeah, god of around, funk yeah. on earth. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, well, there it is. You're a fish and I'm a water sign. A little bit of yes. boogie in here. Parliament. That, too, is a jam, too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, so while we're on the subject of Knee Deep, we have De La Soul, me, myself, and I, which is like a direct lift from Knee Deep, <laughs> yeah. which is... Uh, I didn't reach too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. but I mean, this is... I'm a boogie monster. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but let's check this out. This is this is how I was first exposed to uh, De La, the music video on Yo! MTV yeah. Raps and in the classroom, like, yeah. the, you yeah. know, Great drone papers and everything. But um, yeah, tell us about when you heard this, did you recognize the Knee Deep and... Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I was happy they did it. You yeah. Know? I think um, I'm not sure who did it first. Uh -huh. That way, I think it was EPMD may, might have done it first. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, but it was you know, it was New York cats messing with the West Coast right, folk right, kind of right. like to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because that's something that West Coast cats would have right. done. You know what I'm saying? And getting the platinum. And I was out of it, and yeah. I was used to De La Soul from um, Plug Tuning. Plug sure. You know what I'm saying? So hearing them do this, I'm like, oh, they, yeah, yeah. They're famous now. That's yeah. something. <laughs> Got the yeah. boogie on them. Yeah, this is a hit. And it worked for them. Yeah. Because it was a hit. That right. was, you know, coming home after school and watching this on TV, the video, yeah. it, it brightened your day. Yeah. You know? The whole album is amazing. Yeah, though. yeah, the whole the whole thing. I mean, this is, there's, what's pretty cool about this pressing of the vinyl, too, is it says uh, three sides, three bug out bonus cuts. So what they did here is they pressed it, um, they cut the vinyl twice. So, like, depending where you drop the, needle mm -hmm. it's gonna play a different song like even if it's what? in the same place yeah i'll show you check this out so oh, wait wait what's going on here magic yeah 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 so basically <laughs> this is the funk man. so yeah yeah here's the magic so hitting, basically hitting messages yeah, yeah. if you look right here it says me myself and i right uh -huh. yeah but then if you look right here it says brainwashed followers so on the same point of the record when you drop the needle it's gonna play either one of those songs so check this out Like the new mess up my remix. There it is. You're right, correct. Okay. Now check this out. Oh, oh man! Wow! Yeah. So what on. is that called? That's called a double groove, a parallel groove. So basically. Oh, they, I know what I'm doing yeah, next. Yeah. Oh, they cut man. the vinyl and then they cut it again. <laughs> so basically, what? Do you have to put it, drop it at a certain spot? I mean, it's just where the needle lands. Like the is yeah, it's kind of like. The needle lands here or it lands here, it's gonna go like this or it's within that. So basically. So you can almost like manipulate it to yeah, land when you wanted to. That's <laughs> sick, 
man. <laughs> that is so bad. I never knew that, dude. That's freaking sick. I never knew that. Three side bug out bonus cuts. And that's what's, what's so crazy is De La. And I wonder how many people know that. Right. I didn't find out until like later either. Like, like I think uh, S Boogie put me onto that. Wow. But I mean, like, that's De La. They're, they're always way ahead of the that's curve. That's sick, though. That's yeah. sick. You know. Oh. Three sided vinyl. I will do my yeah. research on that. Yeah. How do we get wow. that done? Yeah. Do they even do that still? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Parallel group. Somebody's got to do that now. I mean, yeah. Someone's done that in a minute. It's probably hella expensive. It, it do that? Yeah. It add it with the little um, visual yeah. record. You got the full oh, package yeah. of vinyl. Oh, yeah. Vinyls is back, baby. Yep. Hell yeah. All right, there it is. De La Soul. Woo! Me, myself, and I. Sex packets, a dollar or two. Now just tell me how many for you this time. All right, continuing with the uh, Funkadelic the Parliament. <laughs> George Clinton samples. We have bringing it back big time. Yeah, Digital Dang. Underground Sex Packets album. We're going to play the title track here. Tommy Boy Bonus. Yeah, <laughs> which, um, yeah, you were telling me that in the break that, you know, you originally were introduced yeah. with the same song. Yeah. And then got turned on to this. But, yeah, give us your background on You know, I, 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 I'm not even sure if it was the same song. Cause yeah. I, you know, because I was just real, really familiar with the, the video. Yeah. But I was, I knew about Digital Underground before that. Right. You know, um, but Sex Pack is when that, the album, the full album, I, I played it over and over. Cause it was like the smooth funk. Yeah. It was just, yeah. It, yeah. it was different funk, you know? But it's funk, it's un, totally. yeah. no doubt it's pure funk. Yeah. yeah. But to see somebody do it in hip hop and really, really, cause people do funk and they fake it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, There's right. tons of cats who fake the funk. Yeah. He actually created his own sort of funk, you right, know what I'm yeah. saying? Without um, stepping on uh, Father George or anything like sure, that, you know? Sure. He respected the, the funk, you know? Totally, totally. And, and, and the funk blessed him. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know I mean, like, man, this this is like a, like, I give props to this underground because it's such a well thought out group. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's like, concept. Right, yeah. I mean, it's like you yeah. got Shock, you got Humpty, you got, yeah. The whole idea of like sex packets. You got raw fusion over here. Yeah. You got Tupac. Tupac. Yeah. You know, you yeah. got like an entire concept album. You've got like a look, like zebra print hat, like way before yeah. LMFAO or yeah, anyone. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like, you know, and then of course all of the the funk, the way they embraced all the funk samples. Yes. Yeah. Just flipped it and made it their own. Like, I also have to give props to Tommy Boy at this time. They, yeah. they also sell money, but <laughs> they actually like, you know, the promo items that came out, right. the yeah. covers, right. the, you know, posters mm -hmm. were all in line. It seemed, and I don't know the group well enough, but it seemed like it, they were doing what the group wanted. Right. You know, and extending that whole uh, feel. Yeah. And, and, and how many, how many cats could um, be, uh, what's it called, dual? Um, rock stars. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was a rock yeah, they star. Had he's he's, he's a split yeah. personality yeah. rock star. Yeah. You know, I saw you know? them I saw them uh, do Humpty Dance of course at the um, Palladium in New York. And Tupac was dancing, yeah. place is going crazy. It's probably the second time I've ever heard the song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Place is going crazy. And you know, Humpty Shock, like he pulled that. I didn't know. It was like Shock's brother would play Humpty. Man. I didn't yeah. know he pulled that shit off yeah. so well. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was two people. <laughs> right, right, right. Until right. later on, I'm talking to the rap. It's like, no, it's one person. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow, he pulled that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm no, with you. Even like, like, I was like, like whoa. Even the way um, the art, there was a lot of like custom illustrations and things. And I got the, um, the EP release here too, but like, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Shock drew this too? I don't, I don't know, it says, sure. it says Rackadelic as the artist, but I always thought maybe that was another alias of Shock because this art was consistent across like all of their releases. They had this whole concept yeah. Of, yeah. of a drawn cover. That's the funk, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's amazing. And also, obviously, another influence of George Clinton and Parliament and Funkadelic of the illustrations and the covers. I think, I think the only, only funk group that I will accept photos from yeah. of their faces yeah. is Cameo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why is that? But, I mean, because they, you know, they smooth, smooth funk. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? They yeah. groovy funk. They <laughs> trying right, to get yeah. the women funk. Yeah, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. That's right. a different kind of funk. Yeah. You know, but, but when it's funk funk, it's, yeah. it's art. You know, yeah. it's, it's psychedelic art almost, you yeah. know? Because most right. funk is psychedelic, yeah. you know? Yeah, 100%. All right, well, there it is. This is Underground. That's Sex that's packets that's with the print sample in there, too. Yep. 
All right. Can't talk about Digital Underground without Ooh. talking about Tupac. <laughs> what the heck, yeah. man? Yeah. It's just, it's my just list, vibe, my list is yeah. My vibe. list is Oakland no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you got, I got, I get around here, which is like kind of the quintessential like Tupac Digital Underground song. Yeah. yeah. Like when he went to Death Row, he went in a different direction, but like yeah. this is foundational Tupac. And like this is, to me, this is his best era. Make you think what music would be if they continued this route with right. Tupac. Right. You know, because a lot of people emulate and, and, and bite off of Tupac and sure. their style. What if it, would they still be biting the funk part? Right. This groove funk, you right. know what I'm saying? Picture, yeah. picture it if, if, if his, all the records that came after that were just the funk grooves. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that would be so sad. Yeah. Yeah. What's this about high school for you? This was, um, Oh, when was this? It might have been 12th grade. Yeah. I feel like that's for me too. Yeah. And, I won't say, I won't say what class it was. Just, it, <laughs> to, me, to me, in rap, it was the equivalent, equivalent of uh, uh, Little Rick Corvette kind of like. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Lady Cab Driver. Okay, okay, Ooh, okay. Lady I got you. Cab Driver. Yeah. That kind of groove, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That makes yeah. you just feel good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a jam right there. You know? I feel like I'm shocked having. And they were the gangstar sample. Oh yeah, dude, that that makes the whole song for me. That the yeah. scratching stuff, yeah. stuff, stuff, dude, that makes the whole song. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a few songs in history where scratching makes the whole like I wait for the scratching. Yeah, lyric whatever. Oh here goes the scratching, and it's just yeah, and this is one of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so how did you feel when he like, you know, left the kind of digital underground sound behind and like embraced the death row, the harder. You know, were you still riding with him or? I mean, I've always, like, I'm, man, who won't ride with Tupac, sure. you know what I'm saying? I mean, I listened to certain records I wasn't really fond of, but right. you know, like Machiavelli, I, I, I love that album. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Still trips me out. It still make me think the dude's alive or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, Cause I who gotta, does that? Who does that? Right. right. I gotta admit, Popifies like. on wax that cleanly. Yeah. You know? I was, I was so like. You know, when the East Coast, West Coast beef started happening, he was dissing everybody, like, I started to feel like, man, like, like, what happened here? Like, I've loved you in Digital Underground, and like, now there's like all this beef. He was upset, was, man. People right. were stopping him from doing what he was trying to do. Yeah. He was trying to help black people, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially with his parents and the history. They, they the brought history. up all this other mess about yeah. him and all yeah. the, you know, try to pull his name down because of what he stood for. Right. Yep. You know, it's the thing, Black Panther, man. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, what sure. do Black Panther stand for? They, they, yeah. they want to unify and help out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And protect. <laughs> you know? That's what he is. Sure, sure. Couldn't have a dude like that walking around a planet, <laughs> a demonic <laughs> planet like that right no. now. No. They no. had to take him out, man. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, Tupac. All right, there it is, Tupac. I get around. All right, we were just talking about Gangstar. I'm glad you brought that up. And yes. uh, here we are again. Just the, the, the connections between your records are just uh, leading into one Damn. another. I love it. So uh, your cut on here and Hard to Earn is uh, the very first song, A Long Way to Go. And uh, this shit is so dope. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. the way they cut up the fife yeah. from uh, Check the Rhyme. Yeah. And that's five eights copies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he done played the whole thing. Of course you know he's played this yeah, record yeah, like yeah, 3,000 yeah, yeah, yeah. times. He done, yeah, he done yeah, played yeah. a hole in it. He wore it down. He wore it down. He was like, Yeah. So, but yeah, this is this is the shit, man. And uh, this whole album when it came out, yeah, oh. it just brightened up hip hop for sure. a song. For it, it, anybody within two feet of hip hop, I mean, t- uh, within a hundred miles of hip hop, yeah. felt that album when it came out. The day it came out, yeah, it's amazing. Like still to this day, it's one of the coldest hip hop records there is. Yeah, you know, to me. You think that's the best Gangstar album? Um. <sighs> Dang. It's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, tell us. Uh, I'd like to hear this one. Woo! Uh, it's the, it's the, it was the, it showed the most growth. Right, right. It showed their growth, sure, sure. you know what I'm saying? Because um, cause each Gangstar album had its own unique, super unique thing. Sure. You know, take it personal. I mean, it, it, oh, I yeah, mean. Yeah. yeah. This, moment this, of truth is even oh, like. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, know? come on, man. Because soliloquy of chaos oh. kills most people's <laughs> albums. Yeah. Um, um, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. many good tracks. I, I love this man. You yeah. know, yeah. I, I got to meet him before. Um, Guru or Preen? Um, Guru. Um, yeah. Uh, Lil Daps, my homie, still to this day. Oh, oh nice. You know, I got a great Lil Daps. 
Yeah, I went on tour with him like twice. Oh nice, yeah, that nice. was fun. Yeah, hey, that was the, some of the funnest tour. Uh, the, the real dap was yeah. the funnest yeah. tours I ever been on. Yeah, nice. he was crazy. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he didn't crazy. give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's a real, he's a real gangster too. Yeah, though, he was so, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. I enjoyed that tour. That, yeah. in, awesome. in fact, I, I had dubbed myself West Coast um, um, Group Home. You know what I'm saying? That's great. Great All right, All right there it is, Gangstar. A long way to go. That's the peace career. Yes. Cause he was rapping his butt off, but he wasn't rapping no better than anybody else. You know, he wasn't. Well. No, he wasn't no slick Rick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying to me? He wasn't no slick Rick to uh, me. Oh, you mean this? Oh, oh shit! Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, that was good. I already got my list. Too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So this is like the 30th anniversary edition of Great Adventures of Slick Rick. And Ooh, wow! The Urban Legends reissue, and this is just amazing. We'll, we'll, we'll go into this. It comes on blue vinyl. Um, it's got the eye patch in there. Like, yeah, basically, you know, and then they have like lyric sheets. Oh my god! Which, like are like see this. replications of like you know his actual lyrics, um, and then wow. like a whole. I wonder if my mom still got some of my old lyrics. Like photo book <laughs> with like the Jeanette Beckman photos and like I mean they just the photos of the they masters. I mean yeah they they just they put a lot of love into this. This is just this is just amazing pictures yeah. of each of the twelve inches. Um, but enough about this. Let's talk about your cut, which is a uh, children's story. That's a that's dope. Yeah. All right. So okay, we have we have uh, children's story. Tell us about this. I mean, this is we can sing every word. Yeah, everybody is, in this room yeah. can. You know, like yeah. it's a one long verse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, tell us about it. Um, it's hip hop. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. You know. Um, and plus, when you know, it's like it was like an English cat sounding. You know, it was right. it was completely different, True. but super flowing. Yeah. And for some reason, you know, around this time I was in the streets. Yeah. You know, I was I was think call myself gang banging. Yeah. A lot of the gang bangers and, and all my homies from the hood listened to this record. Mm -hmm. You know, and there was gang gangster music out at the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they this was something that we would bounce to. Right, right. You know, and I liked it, the fact that on the cassette. After this song's done, you can turn it over, and Teenage Love is plays. Oh, like, like, right, like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you just go so you could always, do, so oh, you had your own yeah. little single right yeah. there on the cassette. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nice, wow. nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, he's such a great storyteller. I mean, obviously, like, everybody recognized that throughout this whole album. Man, Slick Rick is so busting. Yeah. And, and the fact that, that um, he's one of the originators, the one of the creators of, of hip hop. Yeah. You know, like, he's, he is an originator. Dougie Fresh and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, and I mean, this, we actually. He should be mentioned in people's top fives all the time. Totally. Oh, yeah. Totally. Because to this day, yeah. a lot of cats can't out rap him. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty hard to do. Yeah. You know, to the point yeah. you can't even. He's like LL Cool J. You really shouldn't. They mess with LL Cool J because he's he a battle rapper. Right. You know what I'm saying? So people think they can mess with him. You really can't mess with them kind of cats. Right. Not the cats. Not, not dudes who. who, who who believe in themselves that much. Right. You know? And he's one of them cats right I there. I think with Slick Rick also, the whole, I mean, the flow, the delivery, the, the beat, I mean, the way he's flowing with that beat is just infectious. Yeah. But it's also his look, the change, swag. the swag, right. the, the English accent. Right. Yeah. Like, that was... The like, whole package. Who is this guy? Yeah. You know? He's like, like it's like him wearing chains, that's acceptable. Because that's him. Right, yeah. Everybody else is... Copying him, right? right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. anybody wearing the chains, they biting yeah. slick Rick. Yeah, and you know I don't know what I'm saying? If, if you guys have ever seen him in concert, but when he's rap, play, doing this song, it's just effortless, man. Oh, he's just uh, yeah, he's yeah. a master. Yeah, and I'm just like, he's a sensei. He's one of the yeah. senseis. Yeah. You know. All right, next up. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, the message. Oh, uh, yeah. spe special record store day pressing. On 45. On like 45 with this crazy like transparent vinyl. Um, yeah, this, this is super early hip hop and it's funky. Yeah. So I know that's why you, you picked it. That's funky. It's a New York record, but tell us about it. Um, it's, it's, it's speaking to us. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's about the hood. Yeah. It's about what was going on during then, you know, and it was on wax, you yep. know? Yeah. Which I'd never really heard before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of like the first, like, 
conscious political hip hop yeah, record. It, yeah. You know, a lot of a lot of rap when it was coming out it, after Sugar Hill, I think they thought it was supposed to be like comedy a little bit. Some right. of the rap was comedy, right. and the songs like this they stuck out. You know. Mm-hmm. Real rap, this is real yeah, rap. Yeah. From the beginning, the first real rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think, I'm trying to remember, but I know Evidence picked this when we had him on the show. Yeah. And I think maybe Master Ace? I'm trying to remember, yeah. The whole album was dope, though. Yeah. You know, the whole album was a message. You yeah. Know? Yeah, so you probably, 82, you probably... My, my stepdad used to put, sold me that record the first time I ever heard it. Yeah. You know, he bought it and... Playing, for, he, he was jamming to it all yeah. day. You know? what, what, what was your, you know, perspective hearing this as a little kid, and he's kind of really vividly telling this story. What are you envisioning? I mean, um, I got, I got it to, to get a glimpse of what New York streets was like. Yes, yeah. Yeah. you know, because I didn't really have no idea. You can actually see that, yeah. right, feel that. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, it wasn't really unless we saw a movie or something, Shaft or something. Yeah. We we weren't really familiar with the um, New, um, New York streets. This actually yeah. let us see it at a young age, you know. I remember hearing this song and thinking the same thing, like, "Wow, this is like a, you can feel New York you in start, there." Yeah, totally you know feel yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah like listen to Mom Deep record, like you sure. totally feel New York. And then I saw the video. I was like, "Oh." You know, yeah, it yeah, all makes yeah. sense. And around yeah. this time, we didn't really have a lot of uh, MCs and rappers like that uh, in California, mm-hmm. really like that. You know, we had um, Uncle Jam's Army in them. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was like dance music, electric dance music and stuff, right. you know? And we used to jam the mess out of it, too. Yeah. You know? It kind of was a downer for me because when I first heard it, I was like, oh, this funky. This is cool. Yeah. I'm moving to it. Yeah. And then I started listening to the lyrics and I started watching the video. I'm like, ooh. It's like, you know, because it wasn't really a. Yeah, because they're showing like the Bronx fun, is all yeah, fucked yeah, up. Like, the yeah, the bu- yeah, buildings are burning. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah they're it's, 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 and, there, and there was a lot of groups back then, yeah. hip hop groups, and this one group, you know, rise to the surface right. like like Sugar Hill did, you sure. know. How about, um, I mean, what was your reaction when Ice Cube used it, when Puffy used it? That's a fact. Yeah, I mean, if they yeah. use it right, is you know, don't don't go too far from what it is. If right. you're gonna use the message, you put a message in the message. Sure, sure, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I think we all should be. I've done it before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think we all should be able to use something like this yeah. to teach um, the youth. You know, mm-hmm. put your own words to it if you have to, but it doesn't change. Right. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You can even change the hookup; it's still the same thing. You know? Yeah. yeah. All right. There That's it is. timeless. You know? Yep. All right, D, next on your list, DJ Rogers. Yes. Faithful to the end, and this is so <coughs> beautiful, dope. Beautiful record. Yeah. And I first came, I was first exposed to this when Kanye and uh, Common used the sample. Mm-hmm. Um, and what's your experience here? Uh, I'm old school. Yeah. Uh, this has been in my life for, for a long time. Yeah. So when I, I got refreshed back, back to it, I'm like, oh man, I remember this, you know, memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How know? did you first hear this? Like, tell us the memories of what you're talking about. My grandfather and my stepfather were DJs. Oh, okay. Really? You know, yeah. So, you know, yeah, they yeah. were DJs. My, oh, they used DJ clubs and stuff, so they yeah. always had record collections. Amazing. You know, and my grandfather used to play this all the time. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah. This is a beautiful song. Um, Five Ace Copy again? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nah, this is going to be Dudley's copy in a minute. That's the loop. <laughs> I'll take it. Shit, no, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll clean yeah. that suck up. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful track, um, you know, and, and I did love the way that Common flipped it, too. I mean, he yeah. did a great job with it. But the original yeah. is just, it is what it is. Yeah. And the beautiful, like, even from a DJ perspective, like a great end of the night song. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, a slow ballad, you know. No doubt. Yeah. Beautiful Let record. It yep, there it is. But right. I, got a, I got a bunch of favorites on this album, though. Oh, yeah? I mean, what else? Oh, uh, what's another one I love? Is that how it oh, sounds? Say You the Love Me. Box? Say You Love Me. Yeah. Buyula Jean. Think I'll make it anyhow. Come yeah. on, man. Wow. I mean, this whole album is just a beautiful album. Cheers. Well, you thank go. you. Yeah, Peace out. Yes, sir. There you go. Thank you for doing the show. And it looks like my homeboy Joski. <laughs> Joe Smith, Joe-ski. man. Joski love. Shout out to Joski. <laughs>
That I mean, that's what a guy that looks like him. Yeah. <laughs> what what is he doing? Yo, fuck, he's got the cigarette hanging out. Yeah, that's man. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you can see this in jail. Joski. <laughs> he's been locked up for a minute. Let's see. Shout out to the RCA. All right. Yep. Uh, Howard Cosell, Bobby Womack. Nice. Woo. All right, there it is. DJ Rogers, faithful to the end. All right, getting close to the end here, George Duke. Yes. All right, Someday is your track on here, which this might blow your mind, but Kanye and Common also sampled this song. Oh, man. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> the cohesiveness so, of yeah. Dudley's. No, I love it. I love it. Yeah, we yeah, sew yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We sew together your musical journey. You know what I mean? So, yeah, tell us about this. Um, I just love the song. I mean, yeah. I mean, who don't love George Duke? Yeah. You know, that's the man. But this song is like, you know, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's like a cartoon almost, like a beautiful cartoon, yeah, you know? Yeah, Make, yeah. You can see, like when, yeah, you know, like when something's bad, when you feel bad, you play this, it takes it away real quick. Yeah. Sometimes I could cross. And plus, <laughs> plus my man Can Kick used to play it all the time. Yeah. Every time, and plus he knew when I came over. Yeah. And before, when we got our little smoke session, before yeah. we started getting into music, yeah. he put it on for me every time, you know? Nice. Cause he knew I loved it so much, you know? And, yeah. and when I didn't know the name of the song, I'm like, you know that song? Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ended up putting um, a whole big chunk of it on one of my records, too. I, I didn't get busted for it, yeah. you know, but I, of the original cut, I just put like 30 seconds of it on the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Needed it on there. Started the, the second side of one of my records with it, you know? Yeah, it's great. I mean, you can really hear a lot of influence of this style um, of R&B, like in your style of music as well, you know what I mean? More, you're, you're more like vocal tracks and things. Yeah. 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 Um, there's another really familiar sample on this album. Do you know what it is? No. I might, though. All right, let's see if we can find it. That's like super can, spiritual and stuff. Let's see if I can land saying? exactly on this sample here. He said, he said search, search within you. You know what this is, Georgia? Yeah. Oh. Do you recognize that? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, mint test. Is it mint test? <laughs> it would be from, from this record right here. <laughs> from our mutual friend, Otis Jackson. Yes. Yeah, Mad Lib. Um, but yeah, this is another, another little gem in there. That's yeah. sick. That's, that's sick too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You take that home as well. Oh, you well thank home. you, man. Yeah. I have yeah. a nice turn to that on too. <laughs> nice. I do, I do. Yeah, yeah. See, you can see if it plays better on yours than ours. Yep. All right, there it is, George Duke. Prepare yourself and someday. <laughs> All right, a bonus track. This is the first place uh, oh, you nice. ever appeared. Yes. W L I X uh, uh, Alcoholics Coast to Coast album, and this is like this is your breakthrough moment, right? This actually, is the, yeah. Is yes. this the first time you ever rhymed on wax? No, not the first time I was on wax. Okay. We actually was on a CDP wax. Um, Madlib's father pressed up um, the Crate Diggers Palace. Yes. Uh, psych move. That uh, yes. was before this. That was before. Oh, that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wait, okay. was it? I don't know. I don't think it was. How it did this happen? Been. Yeah. No, it wasn't actually. It wasn't. Yeah, this is. I think this is it right here. Yeah. How did yeah. this happen? Um, right place, right time. But um, um, when when the Alcoholics was working on their new record, Madlib sent them um, a bunch of beats, and um, they had um, beat tapes also. Inside the beats was raps and stuff. So mm -hmm. there was a song. Um, one of my songs was in on the the beat tape, and it was actually a full song. Mm -hmm. You know, I had like three verses on there, mm -hmm. and um, Rico wanted this the the beat. You know, and then he, I heard him on the phone. And he said, what about that one beat? You know, the one the, the claim was rapping on. He goes, well, that's the claim's beat. And then Otis for, looked at me like, you know, I yeah. was on the phone with him. I'm right. in the room with him. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And he goes, and he goes, bring Dully through too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I didn't go to expecting to actually record. Yeah. But when I was sitting there and they started recording, I'm listening to my beat like, man, I killed that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, already, yeah. I already killed it, man. Yeah. Like, I super killed it already. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, destroyed it. So, but when they was recording, um, 
Rico's like, and, and J Ro, I actually, I think it was J Ro. J Ro's like, hey, get your pen, man, write. You, yeah. you on the song. Yeah. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Dude, what an honor. I mean, like, I killed it. The I didn't first use time. to write, though, because what yeah. I did, I just used the verse that I already <laughs> did on the track. Right, right. You know? But crazy, I mean, like, you know, this is the first track on their second album. You know, I mean, what a crazy honor to, like, open up the record with them. You know what I mean? I think I have the longest verse on the album, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is like a. But it made it made, you know, like I, I can't front it. Put me into hip hop. I sure. mean, to this day, I'm still considered part of hip hop, even though I'm not respected like a lot of cats in hip hop because sure. of what, the route I took. Yeah. You know, it was more of a spiritual route. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but it allows me to still have respect in hip hop because yeah. of that. You know, and I, res I I thank them for that. You know, we're still friends to this day. Because yeah. Of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and uh, Tash is out here, right? Like, yeah, he's is, out is here. He swift out here too. Uh, yeah, he is too. Oh, we gotta get the licks on the show. That's all it is. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta make that one happen. And where's J Rail these days? Um, I seen him in L A. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, he came to the uh, Wisdom L A. where Georgia was DJing at. Okay. He was up. We talked for a little bit. Yeah. You know, but um, he's yeah, doing good, man. He, he's, yeah. he's doing good with his health, his, his mind, everything. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But this this actually was, you know, I, I appreciate that look too. You know. Yeah. I was able to tell my family I really rap. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, you can go to the right. store now, yeah, you can go yeah. to the store and buy it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's when they were still selling cassettes too. That's right? always you know such a saying? great moment when you go to the parents. Look. Yeah. But they, yeah. they, 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 it, they yeah. did not believe it. Yeah. yeah. My mom did. My mom kind of, you know, go ahead, you, you creative. Yeah. I believe you're creative. You know, she'll fund me bucks, to, a few bucks to go to the studio and stuff, but the rest of the family was laughing and the yeah, homies yeah, from the hood yeah, were yeah, laughing. Yeah. Like, whatever, man. I'm a slow. I eat things up. but. I was rapping way before this too, though. I was sure. rapping with um, even before Loop Pack times. You know, I was rapping with other cats in my city and stuff. You yeah. Know? So. How much? What, I'm curious about that time when you were running around with Mad Lib and Loop Pack and everybody. Like, how much material was recorded that they just, was, you know, what was what was the the daily output or the weekly output? Oh my God. Um, Mad Lib. Is, I mean, you can see how how Ono works. Sure. And he kind of like got that from his um, his, his brother Malib, like you know, just constantly working. Right. I mean, you can see how how many records I got. You right. know, I learned from from them. You know, to constantly be creative. You right. know, and don't waste the creativity. Put it out. Let people hear. It, yeah. No matter what it sounds like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't just put garbage out. Sure. Put things something out that you believed something in. You believe. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? If it was whack to other people, you believed in Usually it at that moment. Usually if you believe in it, you'll you know be saying? able to touch others because yeah. other people believe in it. Sure. But the output, you know, I mean, like, I actually got like three or four full albums, 18 cuts a piece that nobody probably will ever hear. Mm -hmm. You know, you probably heard some of them back yeah. in the day. You know what I'm saying? I'll be asking you still, do you got the copies? I'll be like, do you got that copy, Oh, you man? mean... This right here. Uh, no way! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Wait, let me see which copy it is. Okay, so there's a story on this, which is like when I. Oh shit! <laughs> Thank you, man! Thank you! Thank you so motherfucker. Is that on there? Is that list on there? This, yes. This is, dude. Okay. I'm about to make some money tomorrow. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Dang. I was asking you, did you have yeah, that, yeah. man? I told you I had That's it. the original and so they said. Yeah. That ain't so the this... one on vinyl. It might be. No, that got Slave on there, Get the Fuck Out and all that. Yeah. All right, cheers. That ain't on the so they said. Cheers. So basically the story on this. <laughs> what the fuck? I want to let the audience know. So basically, when I met Declaim, I've been asking you that for years. Yeah. You know that. Declaim's over here. And yeah. you always say, I got the old and sold it said. Yeah, I told and you. I was like, I already got that. Yeah. I already put that out. Yeah. I didn't know it was that. I even did the cover myself. Yeah, you did it at my house. That's right. We like did it. Yeah. <laughs> so like we were we were like 18 or 19 years old. So join us, please. <laughs> oh, I'm about to make some money. My heart's beating fast. <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm about to make about 60, 70 stacks off of that cassette. Damn. All right, well, give me. Oh, my heart's beating oh, fast. Come on. Come on, you, you give me like 15%. Oh, I can't you know? even wait to hear this. I, right. Oh. So basically, here's the story. So, wow. As I mean, soon as I played it, it just turns to dust and soul. <laughs> and we, we did, this is back when we were doing KUMB Word Up Show. And Declaim used to bring like Loop Pack through and things like that. And so you had this album produced by Madlib, and you said, hey, like, 
forgot how it happened, but you came to my house and we like got on like Adobe or like whatever the precursor to Adobe Photoshop was. Yeah, Coral Draw. Coral Draw, yeah, exactly. Coral draw. Coral draw. And we made this cover. And you, I remember, you were like, oh yeah, let's do it with the water and everything. And like, we put the whole shit together. That was, you two made this cover. Yeah, we made this. And like, you know, it's been sitting in my garage for like 22 years or something. Yeah, look, my email's on there, dude, look. This is the cassette. Cover art by Mr. Pizzo. Oh, is that you? Wow. And yeah. your phone number. Yeah, and my old phone number. No, that's the same phone number. Yeah, no, it's not. This is the cassette. <laughs> this is the owl. Yeah. As soon yeah. as we get home, I need you I to told you. transfer this to digital. I told you I was gonna blow your we mind. Got, I got a cassette player. Yeah, yeah. So, that was a big surprise for the show. So it's all yours, man. That's all right. Cool. Closing out, we have your brand new album, Black Love and War, with you and Georgia Ann Muldrow, who's in the house. She's being quiet, but uh, you got the lead single here, Smile, with uh, Aloe Black. Who else is on here? Um, Latoya Williams. Latoya Williams. Oh, nice. And uh, Miss yeah, Desi. Miss Desi. That's okay, this daughter. is dope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I watched a video for this. It's really cool. Like to see everybody come together, especially Aloe Black, who has like you know massive EDM records. Yeah. yeah. It's cool that he would still do some hip hop shit. That's like you know, it's not even about like the money or whatever you know. So. So yeah, tell us about this. I mean, um, I, the the track actually was um for another um, project, mm -hmm. Elzai's album. Mm -hmm. But uh, for some reason, Elzai didn't want the, that song. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why, because the hook is banging, mm -hmm. you know. But um, so I, we, I figured put it on our record. Yeah. You know, um, and Allo, you know, that's Allo has a, you know his own crew, you know. Yeah. But he's kind of part of my crew too, True. you know what I'm saying? Like in a different way, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, like Exile's his crew, that's his yeah. family and stuff, yeah. but, you know, and which is our family too, Exile's yeah. our family too. Yeah. But I, I utilize Alo in a different way. I'd be funky with him and stuff, because I, you know, yeah. I, I know Alo for the funk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I didn't, then again, I know Alo for anything, you know, because he, he, right. he's multi creative, he's multi talented, you know sure. what I'm saying? Like one of the most talented people you, he is. You he know. is. I mean, like I, I did a whole piece on him for Q Point about how he has an unreleased children's album yeah. that like Egon has or someone. Like it's just yeah, it's like a kids' album. And then he has like a country record, and then he has an EDM I've heard about that a lot. Yeah, a lot, like a, lot, a few different people yeah. from different genres. And, told and then he has like talent. rap albums. Yeah. I would. I would. I, I can't wait till he do a mariachi album. Dude, some of that shit on his album, those, yeah. those records that he it, did, it are like me of incredible. It, yeah. 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 That's my dude, you know, and, yeah. and Latoya Williams, um, you know, you know, yeah, from yeah. Snoop Dogg and, yeah. and um, mm -hmm. um, from a, a bunch of uh, classic records, even Jay Z's records and stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah. She's she's just amazing, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. She's she's family now, also, sure. you know. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's great. To and see then my it. daughter. She, oh, she, yeah. she get the rap skills up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, she gonna be a monster to contend with later on, yep. you know? Yeah, so this is a real family affair here. You and Georgia together again, and um, Georgia congrats Most of our records, on the yeah. Grammy nomination. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this, you guys are just doing amazing things yeah. over here. It's really yeah. nice to see you guys staying and true to yourself and doing what you want to do, not following anyone else's path. Like yeah, I said, yeah. we've known you since, I don't even want to say day one, like yeah. day Long time. Point. <laughs> Zero zero yeah. one. You guys, you, you guys were some of the first. <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys were some of the first people in hip hop I met in Vegas. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So amazing. All right, well there it is. D and D. You know, Black, Black, matter of fact, fact, when I met you, because it was like actually one of the first weeks I was living in Vegas. Yeah. And I, I think it was a radio station, and somebody was playing my music. Yeah. And I called up to the radio station, like, who's playing my music, man? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to, you know, I found a hip hop station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was bouncing, like, oh, through the whole thing. Like, oh, yeah. this is all night. Like, yeah, ooh, yeah. we got one of these in Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> ooh, and then, bam, they played me. Yeah. Like, Wait a minute. I called by, hey, who are you guys, man? I'm coming up here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Every day for the next year, <laughs> that love will come. Oh, you got a store? I'll be there tomorrow. And every day. But you know what? Some cats used to come to hang out and visit me yeah. to go to the radio station. 
Okay. Yeah. You know, like yeah. the whole crew, they knew we could go to the radio station yeah. and play our music yeah, and, and you, stuff. No. You, uh, in said, Vegas, playing your music in Vegas at night. Yeah. Come on, man. No, that's kind of huge. But, you know? but again, you, I, the thing I was trying to point out with everything is your dedication to your creativity and to your art has been since day one. Yeah. I mean, you've never faltered, you know. Yeah, yeah. You've always boom, boom, boom. Uh, the claim's coming up. Oh, is he? Again, he's coming up. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm yeah. going to LA. Hustle, oh, man. I'm on the Alpha album. I'm on this. I'm on this. Yeah. I'm on this. Like, you were always like, I'm on yeah. this. I'm on this. I'm and on then this. even going as far as to, like, reinvent yourself with Deli Perkins and, you know, decide to do, like, soul music, like, after you had a couple rap albums, like, amazing. I kind of just feel, I kind of feel that, like, when you're in hip-hop, when you, you join the, the hip-hop clan, yeah, everybody's family. Right. And you're supposed to be that should way. Be that you know way. Yeah. It you should know? be that way, yeah. It should be that way, yeah. It's not always that way. Because I've dealt with a lot of hip-hop cats. That, yeah. You know, remember the Dungeon back in the days and all yeah, that? Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I used to hang with them first. Yeah, yeah. You know? But I'm like, these guys just don't got it together. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I seen them open up studios and stuff. The yeah, Dungeon, yeah, when they was opening yeah, studios. Yeah, yeah. I remember one of the cats got shot or something like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, some some kind of shootout happened at their studio uh, back in the days yeah. when it was over there off of was, um, Martin yeah, Luther King and stuff. Yeah, you know, you a know? testament to your hustle and your drive. I mean, like I said, day one, dude. I, I day point stop. zero zero one. Yeah. Like I said, if I stop doing music personally, I will still be pushing music. You know. Yeah. I love yeah. music. You know. Yeah. Well, shit. Congrats on the new record. Thank you. And uh, thank you for being here, man. Next record coming out, and so it is said, the, uh, the, uh, the Unreleased <laughs> the Chronicles. Sessions. The Unreleased Sessions. Our, oh! Our, our, our done by Pisa Leo over here. Shit. Oh, wait a minute. Coral draw, baby. Uh, Coral draw. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. Yeah. I got one. Make all the checks payable to let the record. Yeah. Oh, you'll be part of this. All right, That's there funny. it is. Black that Love and War at G&D. The first hustle, man. I was really, I was gonna sell these. All right, everyone. This is Let the Record Show. I am Mike Pizzo. I'm Warren Peace. Today's special guest, Dudley Perkins. Dudley Welcome. Perkins. Thank you for being here, man. Yes. Appreciate it. Appreciate everyone, it. go get the G and D Black Love and War album. It's right here. Yes. Some other ship connect. Uh, yeah. And that's it. We're out of here. Peace. Peace. Yo. Oh, All right. <laughs> I gotta get to this cassette player right now. <laughs> <laughs> When you feel the vibe, you got to stand up.